Oracle. It's regarding Ten of Pentacles. This is, it's reversed. It's like money owed you. This could be inheritance. It can be, um, um, spousal support. It can be any kind of money owed you, but usually a ten is like a family. Uh, and then, um, crossing it is just like a feeling feelings of being left out in the cold moving into the past is you have the power whatever you have the tools you have the power you have everything you need for this this situation um hmm I'm waiting to see if I get a feel about this. This is a two of swords. Um, this is like being in denial. You know, a choice needs to be made. You, you like being in denial about what, what you need to do. Choosing to be in denial. Not ready to face the situation. Here's a three of wands. Also another card about making a decision or a choice. And it's reversed, so you're not making that choice. And then we have the Three of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so the Three of Pentacles is like working hard and um, getting a getting a job done, but it's reversed. So it's like you're not able to get the job done. You're not working. You're not working hard at the, whatever the situation is, or you haven't been able to work at it. It seems like all the like denial and uh, refusing to to um it's like you're paralyzed um to, about being able to move forward and and make a choice and it's like we're being shown yes you have the power the tools and everything you need to do this it's just it's you know you need to make a decision and to move forward to come out of denial come out of feeling frozen in your tracks the way you feel um this is this card is uh, normally the conquering hero. You know, this is, if I have to keep reaching, I'm going to be in pain by the time I finish these readings. Er. Let's see. <laughs> okay, we get this, and how you, how you feel. This is the conquering hero coming home after a victory. You got it reversed, and this reversed is like feeling ashamed, feeling dishonored, feeling uh, something like that. In your in the truth of your situation, okay, the truth of your situation. Look at this. You hear this again, again, a card about feeling bound and trapped and. And here she's blindfolded. This is a, like, you know, this is a bad situation. It's the Eight of Swords, but um, you got it reversed. So the truth of your situation is you can get out of this. The truth is when you get this card reversed, it's about that you're no longer here in this, that you're moving forward from this. So the truth of the situation is that, you know, you have the power to get out of this, to to make a choice. Um, usually, if you get this card reversed, it's like you're done doing that. That's the reality. You don't have to stay in this in this situation. I, you've got all of the cards that could possibly... Um, the hopes and fears is the Empress reversed. She's major... She's major arcana, which means, yes... Um, you can um, you can um, get out of this situation. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, so, um, sorry about that. For the Empress, we have, um, the Empress is in the position of hopes and fears. And she came out reversed, so it doesn't matter which position she's in. Because it's a hope and a fear. You know, hope, fear. So, um, she's made your arcana. This is you at your best creative self. It's also a card of like, 
the mom or um, she could be um, the nurturing female. She's the creative female. Um, it can also, like, I'm, I usually don't hear this for her, but um, kind of like self-absorbed. You don't want to come off as self-absorbed. Um, but I don't think so. I don't know. And the outcome is uh, the hangman reversed. That's good. Because, see, this is like, this is when you, this is, the hangman um, is about, um, um, it's, you know, being paralyzed in a situation, but during that time, you are able to see another perspective. Like, you can't move forward in a situation, and all you can do is tolerate it. But during that time, you see something else that changes your viewpoint. And when you get it reversed, is that you're no longer bound, chained, and you can move forward. This is good. This reading makes absolute sense. Um, so I don't need to do any clarifiers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a love reading. And... Um, well, that was fast. A minute and 58 seconds. Jeez, please. Okay, I hope I explained enough. If not, just go back and replay it because I feel like I said everything with each card. Um, which built that story. I felt like I knew the story. Um, that we're afraid to move forward. What was the central issue? We're afraid to move forward. Um, oh, regarding uh, um, the Ten of Pentacles. So it could be some money that was held up. Now what crossed that? Yeah. I'm, you know, Spirit doesn't let me pick up the cards like that unless there is something. Unless it's clear. Okay, so we're going to do the uh, love reading. Hopefully it's cheerier than that, huh? Yikes. But if that was a good reading in the sense that something really good is coming of it, that you, 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 you're coming out of that situation. Okay, is that card? Let's see. Here we go. This could be the one. I don't think I've ever seen this card. You're all, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Wow. Okay. Let's see what the next one. Oh, so we get another one. You deserve love. You are lovable. And then this one. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So it looks like you've already met this person. So what we're going to do, we're going to do two clarifiers with the... Um, this is what we're doing. With the... Um, <laughs> vice versa. All right, Kathy, what are you doing? Stop. And then we will do um, this is the Lenormand Gilded. Rubbery, rubbery. I always say that word. Okay, here we go. What are we doing? Yes. Okay. All right. Interesting. Okay, this could be the one. We have the Knight of Wands. So it seems like there's a delay in a message. Wow. There's a delay in a message. 
And it's like, when the message comes, it's going to look like this. There's a phoenix rising out of the fire. It's like, whatever the message is, it's going to, whoa! Okay, and um, here, um, you know, it's just like working hard. But this one, I always see this, um, so you're like, you know, you're busy at work, and it's this one, the Pope. I just think of Michelangelo and the Pope telling him to paint that ceiling. And the the final card is, it's like a public situation. It's like you're waiting to hear from this person, and you're just like, you know, just doing what you need, what's in front of you. And then it's like, it's going to be public. So when you, you either be in a public situation where this person communicates with you or they're going to commu communicate with you in a public place you might be out with your friends or something and you get a message and it's like you know happy and wonderful fiery happy wonderful fiery message Ooh. and it's like but meanwhile you're just going about you know pleasing the Pope <laughs> yeah okay so um, there's a the ten of swords and when you get this side it's like you're trying to figure out how the hell they get in this position where all these knives swords are in me and here it's like it's you you know you, you you're you're over it and then it's reversed so you're out of it's the end of a painful situation now with this we get this is you deserve love, okay? So, when you have been beating yourself senseless or something? It's time to end that. But that card in that position means it's the end of some sort of uh, situation. This is the <laughs> this is the Ace of Cups. Um, you deserve love, yeah? Okay, definitely. This is love is coming. Love is coming. Love yourself. It is coming. This card showed up reversed. Um, but that, it's the ace. The ace is like Major Arcana. Yes, it is yours. It is coming. It's just like reversed in this situation. It's like you, you're not believing it. Believe it. Trust it. It's spring. It's yours. Okay, so making more sense of this one is um, th this is the quick end of a situation. Something's going to end really fast and I think it's this torturous situation here that comes to a quick end and once that comes to a quick end this card turns right side up and love is in your hands. So um, maybe you feeling like you don't deserve love has to do with a, a situation that hasn't been good or loving. And stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And here we have the Magician, Major Arcana, Major Life Changing um, Situation. And the Magician reversed is like you thinking you don't have the tools. But Major Arcana, it's always yours upright. This is you, this is the truth of your situation. You might think this, be, have been thinking that, but that's not the truth. Think positive. Remember that you have all the tools to move forward in this situation. And then we have the Six of Swords. Interesting. This is an interesting card, especially in this deck. This is, um, this can be, this can be like, this is like traveling by night, and there's the swords are like, um, they can be like baggage, like um, thoughts. See, it's like, you know, the saying that you know you could move, but you you follow yourself. So whatever problem you're running away from, um, you're still there. Um, this is like traveling at night with your own baggage and, you know, expecting to get away and you don't really get away. Um, so, um, this came up reversed. 
and it's like you you letting you you need to let go of the thoughts because um, swords are thoughts they can be thoughts there's no light shining off these swords you see that when there's light shining off them they're truth when they're look at her face um, when they're um, like this it's like it's just like baggage it's like something you need to let go of some thoughts some beliefs that you just need to let go of and look 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 what a happy card this is a message this is the writer um, a message something wonderful a message stay optimistic there's a there's good news coming 